Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience. Last episode, I worked on this stuff right here, this little cobblestone area. I want to make a little flower place, a little garden area maybe, and uh, I've decided that I think what I'm going to do with it as a, I'm going to staircase diagonally down this way until we hit um, I, I, until we hit right here. This is perfect right here, and uh, that is what I'm going to do with this area. I believe I believe we are going to make a staircase all the way up here. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly I want to bring us up here, but I think we'll just kind of work our way. Uh, up like this like we're doing right now uh, what we did also last episode is we worked on our first wheat farm this doesn't look right our first wheat farm that's right uh, I'll get this worked off later off camera but uh, our first wheat farm over here I really kind of sort of meh kind of like it uh, I like the fact that it's big and it's uh, it's gonna yield us a lot of wheat that is very good that is what I was going for if we take a look from up here you can see the design that I have going on right now uh, right there that's what I'm gonna do with every single one of these little patches of land uh, I'm gonna put a piece of a glowstone right in each of the sides so that each and all of the farmland can get enough light for the for the, for the wheat to grow and uh, right now I'm just short on seeds and short on yeah, just short on seeds and then we and also short on glowstone because I'm also going to do that with the glowstone or with the redstone lamps now. That is using the new uh, daylight sensor mechanics we have in the 1.8 snapshots. Um what is going on with my frame rates right now? If you look right there, you can see we are in pre-release 1. Pre-release 2 is kind of weird with fraps. I was getting like 2 frames per second, which I'm getting right now. Um, <laughs> hopefully this clears up right now, but uh, this is the way the wheat farm's going. I'm not sure if I like it right here. I think I want it uh, back up against that land right there. Have it start right there and then have it go all the way across. I may even want to add one more side to this. I'm not entirely sure. I think... I think that's what I want to do and I also want like a roof over top of it. I'm not sure how exactly to do that without it being like obnoxious and, and whatnot. So that's something I'm going to have to work out off camera but I think what I'll do instead is just um, yeah it's just uh, let's go to the nether today. That's what I was getting at. I want to go to the nether today because we need some more glowstone this is all the glowstone I had and it's all right here so we need to go get some more glowstone so what I'm gonna do uh, actually you know what I think we're fine I think we can just remove all of this I don't think we need any of this I think we're just gonna head on over to the nether right now uh, because I really I really enjoy the nether. I think it's a really good place in Minecraft I think especially now with the snapshots with all of the optimization they're doing it is just incredible how fluid and how smooth this game is in the nether um, It's really a great place to be in my previous world I got uh, I, I built a an animal farm completely out of quartz like 100% out of quartz and like white stained glass and it was probably one of my favorite builds uh oh we hear guest um and I had to do a lot of searching so we have our fortune three pick we have our silk touch diamond axe just in case we had we need any uh, I guess glowstone and you know quartz is what we're here for but I really really love exploring why I was telling you guys about my animal farm in my last world is because I had to go hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blocks away from my uh, my nether portal that I first created in order to get the quartz and there is some of the most beautiful land generation ever in the nether like this stuff you can go up there and you can go on the roof of the nether and it's just uh, I would have to show you guys it because it is just so breathtakingly gorgeous hello gas don't shoot me this is nether rack you can you can explode this in fact we're gonna 
take care of you right now. Oh, you despawn. That's right. I look at you and you despawn. <laughs> oh man. Let yesterday I was in a bad mood. Today, I'm not in a good mood, but uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. You guys have been really supportive, really good with my uh, my little negative attitude there lately, and uh, I thank you guys for that. And I hope that that ends here pretty soon because uh, I've just been under a little bit of stress lately. Um, if you guys don't know, I've been doing this YouTube thing, even though I haven't been doing it this quality uh, for that long. I have been trying to make YouTube videos for about a year now, ever since uh, the Xbox version of Minecraft got its title update, I think 12 it was. I have been making YouTube videos, that is where my first Minecraft Let's Play came from, which uh, you, you don't need to go back and look, it's really embarrassing, it's, it's everyone's first videos on YouTube is pretty much the same, they're not that, uh, they're not that good, so that's, so that was my first YouTube experience, and I have yet to, um, you know, have any huge outstanding success, I mean, 187 subscribers to me is a huge, huge success, but in terms of, like, people outside of YouTube thinking that's good, uh, it's really not that impressive. So everyone uh, has been pushing me to get a real job and that kind of thing, which is fine, you know, that's not stressful in and of itself. Um, a real job, you know, money is needed to pay for things and everything, so that's, that's perfectly fine, but uh, to find a job where it coincides with this YouTube, it's kind of difficult because in order for me to record, in order for me to get uh, the peace and quiet you guys hear in the background right now, I need to be pretty much alone in my house. Uh, if my dad is home, if my dogs are getting all crazy, then it ruins the recording a little bit. It really just, It's really distracting in the background to have people walking, maybe watching TV, coughing, you know, doing whatever the human body does. You know, it's perfectly fine. I'm not, you know, upset that people make noise in my house. It's just... I need this time in the morning in order to record and uh, in order to find a job I need to do that in the evening where I'm not so much recording but then in the evening I'm editing so it's it's kind of you know I gotta really work on my uh, using my time effectively and so that is the most stressful thing uh, especially when a video like a live commentary or one of these videos takes hours upon hours to even just get set up. Oh, hello lava, don't you flow in my face. And so I've just been, uh, you know, trying to find the best opportunity I can at a job that I'm not gonna wanna like blow my brains out doing every day. So, you know, I think you, get, you guys are my demographic. You guys are, I would imagine, about you, a little bit younger than I am. Uh, you guys are are looking for a job as well, and uh, you guys know how uh, how it is. It's really frustrating and it's not fun to say the least. But uh, that's why we play video games, isn't it? We we play in order to get away from reality, to have a little fun, to to be the masters of our own world, and so that's what. Uh, this Minecraft experience is for me. It's a little bit of relaxation time with my friends playing Minecraft, and uh, that's really nice. I think what I'm gonna do now is that uh, I'm going to get more glowstone, I'm gonna get more quartz, and then I'm gonna meet back up with you with the uh, with the final a little bit touch-ups on that farm you saw. So I'll see you guys then. And this is exactly what I'm talking about right here. Look at this just gorgeous place in the nether. Look at this. People say, oh, nether is boring and, and, you know, ugly. This is gorgeous. Look at all the little hills and the, and the different hangovers. And, oh, it just looks great. I bet you if you go in one of those caves or in one of those places up there, you would find a whole new world, a whole new level to the nether. It is so gorgeous. I have not been in here for long. This is the uh, stronghold, the nether fortress. That was the word I could not think of during those past couple of episodes. The nether fortress uh, that we were just in 
in the nether episode and uh, right over here should be our portal uh, i have night vision and fire resistance on so i can walk my way through this lava without getting hurt Ooh, there's a wither skeleton i really want to go fight him right now Mm, no, no, I don't have a looting sword. It probably won't get him his skull. I think, if I'm not mistaken, our portal should be over here somewhere. I'm sorry I jumped in that lava, man. That's really annoying on the screen. There we go. All right. What did I get? What did I get from that little adventure? Here's our portal right here. I got two stacks of glowstone and the equivalent of two stacks of blocks of quartz and a little bit more quartz. I'm not gonna make them all quartz blocks right now. Uh, we'll do that later. Ooh. That music, man, that music is so good. I'm so glad I turned that back on. I, I forgot that I even turned it off, to be honest with you. I mean, I love the music in this game. It's so relaxing. There's one song in here that I particularly like. Every time it plays here in the overworld, I'll stop and I'll just smile because it always puts me in a good mood. It's a bright and happy song I like it it's very nice so um now what we need to do we need to go make some of these glowstones into redstone lamps and get us some some lights going on in the farm and then I think that that might be enough might be enough uh time to get us to the end of the episode maybe maybe we'll do more maybe we'll do this because uh, I'm really excited for that too I mean there's there's a lot of ideas going on maybe you could tell last episode there was a lot of ideas going on in my head not a lot of uh, being able to actually do it which is one of my faults in Minecraft but you know we'll work we will work we will work work through that how come I can't say that wow okay so how many do we need? We need four per little area. There's eight areas, I imagine. So eight times four is 32. All right, that's good. Now, that's, I think that's going to be a little bit more than what I need, but that'll be fine. That ought to be fine. We'll have some of that, and that won't be enough. We'll get a little bit more right there. Perfect. That ought to be good. And we have that, that. Awesome, and we can always go back for more redstone lamps. I think, is that going to be good? That ought to be good. I think so. Let's go put this away. Bottles right here. Mushrooms go over here. I don't have any of these labeled because item frames really uh, do bad stuff to your frame rate. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. We have glowstone right here. We got all the expensive stuff there. We got some of that. We need some more redstone. Where is the nether rack going? It's going right there. Soul sand, same place. Awesome. Don't you just love this organization? It's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> All right. Put the redstone away in there. Oh, it's time to sleep. Time to sleep. Very nice. We're going good here. Uh, how are you guys doing? I, I rarely ask that. No, no, but I always say that. I hope you guys are having a good day. That's what that means. But uh, honestly, how are you guys doing today? How are you guys back in school? Are you uh, just working? Are you, you know, what are you doing? I don't know hardly anything about you. So write down in the comments how you're doing, if you're doing good, bad, whatever. And let's get over here and finish this farm. And uh, of course, what is that? Oh, that's the stuff I threw earlier, right? Uh, of course, if I decide to move this, which I probably will, uh, all of this effort will be for nothing. And uh, let's go right here. I'll just have to do it again, but that's all right. Once we've done it once, it's easier to do it again. We'll put this right here, dig these out. Awesome. I love the way the, um, the black is around these lamps. It's a very nice little... Uh, touch with this brown of the of the tilled soil. It's very nice. I like it a lot There's lots of good good colors in this game good natural colors. I should say in this game There's lots of a lot of browns a lot of grays a lot of a lot of that stuff a lot of those textures But not a lot of those bright colorful ones, you know, I'm not sure how good I'm gonna say this but there's not a lot of Blues, you know, we have those new blocks, which I want to go get really soon. I want to go exploring in this world. I want to go get some jungle trees. I want to go get some of that stuff, but I'm not sure um, how I, I'm on the pre release, so I don't think anything will change because of the land generation. I just hope that I get the new uh, red sandstone, which I should. Uh, I, I probably should do that. We should probably go do that next episode or one of these episodes coming up. We have 
I need to get a shopping list. That's what I need. I need to get a shopping list of all the trees and all the materials I need to bring back from uh, adventuring outward. But yeah, like I was saying, there's not a lot of those like really bright colors. I mean, green a little bit. It's here and there. But uh, red, you know, you got the uh, nether stuff and maybe the red sandstone now maybe some clay you know but besides the clay and the wool there's not a lot of bright vivid colors because minecraft is a you know world you know they're not going to put in like crazy colors in here which is fine but you know it's just a little a little something you got to get used to building in minecraft in and so that's that no big deal uh, are you guys looking forward to 1.8? That's another thing I wanted to ask. How many of you guys waited to actually play uh, the 1.8 snapshots? Because I know me, I couldn't wait. As soon as I get new features and have the ability to, uh, to play them, I need them and I want to have them and I cannot resist. Um, even if it is like a beta buggy kind of thing, I really, really get excited with new features, especially to a game like Minecraft. I think... That is about it. I think all we need to do now is put them right here. Yeah, I did make a little bit too many, but that is perfectly fine. I'm sure we will need more uh, once we get to the bottom section of this. The bottom section of this farm is where you're truly going to see me shine. You may be watching this. You may be like, Donuts, this is a really lackluster, boring farm. This is really nothing special. Well, you're right. It's nothing special, but that's how this overworld I want it to be. I want this to be where this guy goes um, in order to have his little farm. And I want, you know, shoppers and people to walk by and go, oh, that's a pretty nice wheat farm. And I want him to buy wheat and I want, want him to buy seeds. I say that in quotes because, you know, you're not really buying anything. But uh, that is uh, what I wanted to get done today. Whoa, we just dropped down. For some reason, once I get up here, our frame rates drop. But I think that looks good. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to harvest up some of this wheat. I'm going to put that fence in and I'm going to replant some of the seeds here so you guys can get a final look at what this looks like. So I'll see you guys then. And for the big reveal... Eh, you know, it's, you know. <laughs> once we get a road coming in here, once we get some more buildings here and there, once we get an animal farm here, uh, a carrot farm, farm there, you know, once we get these flowers going, once we get this whole entire city started up, this is going to play a great part in this. I so apologize for the frame rates right now. It, I have no idea what's going on. You know, this is just traps uh, wanting me to have a bad day. But uh, anyway, we will come over here. We will put the final touch right here and bam fence right there perfect this is great i'm gonna let this grow out we're gonna need a couple more seeds but other than that we should be good uh i think this is good you know i'm really happy for this i'm gonna i'm gonna build a building for this house so we can have a place for our chest to hold all of our wheat and our seeds and i think we will get working on the secret underground massive wheat farm on this soon enough after i figure out what i want to do with that that cobblestone thing over there man the frame rates man i gotta close out the episode to see what's going on thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful minecraft morning i'll catch up with you guys later and as always have a great day